Hello, everybody. Welcome to Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Beppe Bonetti, born in 1951 in Rovato, a small city in the Prussian territory that has been home to important artists, among whom stands out Moretto, an Italian Renaissance painter. Yet, more than from Moretto, Bonetti acquires a deep interest in painting from Gerolamo Calca, an important post-Bohemian painter. But the word is so immense that it can offer us countless reference points. So Bonetti, in the search for his artistic identity, revisits some 20th century fundamental art movements. First and foremost, he looks to surrealism as an academy for the elaboration of forms and a fruitful laboratory of colors. Then, he shows inclination for geometric abstraction, tending towards optical art. The year 1982 marks marks the turning point in his artistic career. Bonetti realizes that rationalism has lost its primary role in art. Rationalism, the artistic movement that at the beginning of the 20th century seemed to be an unexplored and promising territory, turns out to be a dead end street. Therefore, Bonetti feels the necessity to embark on another dimension. He nurtures a passion for philosophy. He coins the term term meta-rationalita, in which the prefix meta stands for over. Whereas the geometric abstraction has taught Bonetti the line and the bidimensionality, he now tries to open up the forms and to decompose them into the elementary components. The Vismara Gallery in Milan, alongside with other important galleries, organizes his first important shows. According to Dorfler, Bonetti has understood that our epoch is imposed on the precise choice of transgression of the symmetry of the falling apart of the established order of the explosion of the closed and static forms. With this concept in mind, Bonetti has executed various series of works. The first series presents segments of different colors that seemingly fluctuated in a monochrome atmosphere as parts of a scaffold that suddenly gives way. But most of the time, it's the same segments that, when reassembled, give life to the original structure seen through the negative, as in the case of the circle. Bonetti's attempt to reorder the scattering size in the space can be seen in the series titled Variations of Number 7. Attracted by the arithmetic and symbolic values of this number, Bonetti creates a reticular structure inside the cells of which we can notice infinite variations of seven segments of diverse lengths. Another series, perhaps the most representative on his idea on meta-rationalita, deals with a geometric form shattered into fragments of different sizes. But Bonetti's paintings can also be interpreted in an inverse way, which means his paintings contain fragments in the space that try to recompose themselves to give shape to a definite figure. At the basis of these artworks, there exists a reverence for the idea that the richness of art is the result of the great absorption of all the styles that have been developing since man's origin. This idea is well highlighted in a video label, Don't Forget, derived from Marcel Duchamp. Bonetti's works have obtained wider and wider recognition, so much so that since the 80s, they have been exhibited worldwide. The work I'm presenting you is from the series titled Variations on an Era of Parmenides. Parmenides was the first Greek philosopher that meditates on the question of being. Being, according to Parmenides, is a perfectly spherical form. Already in those days, Plato pointed out incongruities, errors of Parmenides' theory. But Bonetti takes inspiration from these errors. He thereby realizes perfectly circular monochrome forms on the border of which stand out geometrical fragments 
elements such as rectangulars, triangles, squares. On other occasions, it's the sphere itself that undergoes the process of breaking off. This series also includes the sculptures of great beauty. What distinguishes him is his fight against the belief that tries to subdue all authentic knowledge exclusively to things that are scientifically verifiable. Bonetti's art features a nostalgia towards a reassuring art in which the geometric structure can put everything in order. But above all, his art bespeaks a nostalgia towards the spiritual aspiration of human dimension that remains forever inexpressible. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolines, Deliciousness from the World of Art.